Welcome to our campus health segment uh, for UARC Home Live. I am Brianne Carter. I'm the assistant director uh, for marketing and communications here at the Pat Walker Health Center. Um, and we are currently in the Pat Walker Health Center. Yay! Yeah, and we're starting out our primary care clinic. Mm -hmm. um, and our primary care clinic um, mainly seeing students for you know acute, urgent care, but we also can see you for chronic illnesses, um, housed within the primary care clinic is our allergy immunization and travel uh, clinic as well. And they do immunizations, travel consults, uh, TV testing, things like that. And so for our primary care clinic, we are open, the whole entire health center is open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday, and then 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays. And then our primary care clinic actually has some extended hours. They have Saturday clinics um, in the fall and spring semesters. And so, but we are not open when there is home football games, um, <laughs> unfortunately. It becomes then, pretty crazy, sure. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously, like, things like fall break, we don't do a Saturday clinic, um, Thanksgiving break, things like that. So yeah. Regular university holidays. We have about 18 people tuning in. Let us know where you're uh, tuning in from and when you'll be arriving here at the University of Arkansas. Yes. Let us know where you're from. We'd like yeah. to learn more about you. Um, I'll go ahead and introduce Alyssa to you. Hi, I'm Alyssa Martinez. I'm the social media manager for UARC Wellness. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, yeah, absolutely. You said uh, UARC Wellness? UARC and Wellness. We're going we're gonna to learn more about that, right, as we, we go? Later in the tour. Fantastic. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Well. Yeah, so our primary care clinic, they can do labs, x-rays. Um, you can come here if you're sick, you're having a sore throat, if you have an injury, um, whatever. You can make appointments online. We have a patient portal. Um, if you go to health.uark.edu, uh, then we have a quick little button to push patient portal and you can get to that you log in with your UR credentials um, and you can schedule an appointment there uh, and we have several ways um, or several different appointments available there mm -hmm. um, but if you don't see the appointment type that you're looking for on there uh, go ahead and give us a call or you can walk in and we'll try to get you scheduled for a same day appointment depending what's going on um, we do have triage nurses that can check things out for you um, but yeah. yeah if you guys have any questions along the way too, feel free to drop those um, and let us yeah. know, and I can help answer it. And shout out to uh, Dinah from Cypress, Texas, Ooh. and Carrie from Plano, Texas. Yeah, Ooh. and now is the time to ask all of your, uh, what, your campus health questions. Yeah. Keep you healthy. Okay, we'll go ahead and walk um, down. So like, this is our check-in area for primary, primary care. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I don't know if you saw, the psychiatry check-in is also here because we recently did start billing um, insurance for psychiatry. Um, mm -hmm. So our psychiatrists for students that students see are housed up in our counseling and psychological services suite, and we'll talk about CAPS in a little while. Okay. Um, but the psychiatry um, patients check in here because we like to get that um, insurance information um, and be able to do that. But if you do want to self-pay, you can still self-pay as well. Sure, sure. So we'll walk down. Yeah. So kind of like this is our little lobby area, our waiting area uh, for patients. Um, and then also people kind of hang out here sometimes too if they're coming in with their friend um, who's a patient. Can we, can they come in and study? Yeah, they can, can use come the in space? and study. So we have some different table areas um, that they can come in and they can study at. Uh, we also have these cool little vending machines. Obviously we have Coca-Cola now at the University of Arkansas. <laughs> you are a Coca-Cola um, campus. Yes, and I actually, I'm a, I'm a big fan, so uh -huh, I'm a uh -huh. hero fan. Um, and so, yeah, so more little study spaces are right here. Um, you'll kind of see in our background here, our classrooms, and so our Walker family classrooms are used for various classes um, on campus. Mm -hmm. And so you may have a class here, whether it's public speaking, university perspectives, um, it's also used for meetings. Um, the Multicultural Center uses it for different events. Um, What's the Multicultural Center? So the Multicultural Center on campus is basically a resource for students um, that want to figure out um, different areas where they may like plug in and belong on sure. campus. Different um, identities and everything yeah, like that. Sure. Different identities on campus. And so they just want to be able to help students um, plug in, figure mm -hmm. out places, and they have a cool space over there in the, the Arkansas Union as well. Right, which is, which is what, maybe five minutes walk from here? Oh, yeah. And Everything's probably, pretty close. You may even be able to get there in two. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just like if you jump on one of the scooters, right? <laughs> definitely, yes. <laughs> but, oh, yes, and if you get injured on the scooter, you can definitely come, oh, come, okay. come, come, come make an appointment with us. Sure. Um, we'll get you in. So this is our GYN Women's Clinic, um, and... To the, to the right of me, um, mm -hmm. 
or maybe to the, your left, okay. uh, would be our west parking lot. Um, so those are our west entry doors, and that's where patient parking is, but you could also get to it from that south end of the building where we were more on that corner of Maple and Garland at the primary care clinic. Um, but a lot of students and patients come in through these doors. Um, they also come in through those other doors just because they're like the little middle, middle entries. Um, and so this is where patients who are needing a GYN annual exam, maybe wanting some birth control, contraception options, um, or wanting some STI testing, anything mm -hmm. like that, they would come um, potentially to the GYN women's clinic, or we also do STI testing in our primary clinic. And on campus, we have about 6,200 students in yeah. beds, but off campus, we have another um, you know, several hundred who are going to be with university housing, but also, uh -huh. you know, coming on campus. Is this where they would probably park? Yes, yes, for sure. Okay. So we have patient parking, and if you do want to park in that patient parking, and there are limited spaces, unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people park in that patient parking or they park in the Garland parking garage. Okay. Um, but if you want to use our patient parking, you would just come in, um, come to the desk. If it's GYN Women's Clinic, you're coming to, um, or if it's primary care, you come, they'll write you up. A parking pass you stick it in your window you come back in. oh nice in nice window. okay so yeah getting in getting out a little easier than it can be on the rest of campus for yes. these medical reasons yes good deal all right we'll walk here and i kind of have some temporary wayfinding signs okay right now um and that's just because we have some senior walk construction happening on um this east side of our building and so I wanted people to be able to know sort of where they were when they walked into the health center and mm -hmm. kind of how to navigate to where they were wanting to go, whether it was, you know, our allergy immunization clinic where a lot of students come for their allergy shots, primary care clinic, um, or our GYN women's clinic. And I do want to also tell you too that our medical clinics are available to faculty and staff as well. So okay. you'll see all sorts of people walking through here um, as you, if you come into the health center. Right, I can remember a couple years ago when we had, this is before COVID, yeah. there was some uh, virus going around and we got plenty of vaccinations right here. I wonder yeah. what that was. What that, what, it was Measles, before COVID. Yeah, it was something like that. Bella. Yes, that's what it was. That's what MMR. it was. MMR. MMR. that is now a requirement for uh -huh. students to uh, file that they have their MMR. Um, they have to submit that and they get the paperwork. And if you haven't done that already, um, you probably didn't get tripped up on uh, registering for classes mm -hmm. for fall, but if you don't have it in, start of classes, they're gonna start sending you emails and you won't be able to register for your spring classes if you don't have um, that, that religious exemption. Nice. Or if you don't have um, the MMRs. Nice okay. call out for spring semester, be yeah. ready. <laughs> okay, excellent. We're going up the stairs to the uh, second floor, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And topic of immunizations you know we do still have you know COVID is still a thing it's still out there so is the flu mm -hmm. so make sure you get your flu your annual flu shot and um, we'll be promoting that for you guys and then your um, COVID booster and they are in the process of deciding you know what that next COVID booster will be um, but as soon as we know what that's going to be we will get that message out to you yeah and flu vaccination that's important right yes 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 we're hoping that the, the new COVID like booster will roll out when flu vaccination rolls out so that hopefully it's very convenient for you to get both of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're entering into CAPS territory, it yes. looks like. Yes, so this is Counseling and Psychological Services, also known as CAPS, and they offer a variety of critical resources for our campus mm -hmm. um, here. And so they have 24-hour mental health emergency services, so that's a 24-hour phone line. Mm -hmm. That's on the back of your student ID. So is the main health center number. So that main CAPS number will also be the 24-hour line um, when it's after hours for CAPS. Sure. And then they also offer short-term individual therapy mm -hmm. counseling. Um, they offer groups and workshops. We might get a little loud with the AC here. <laughs> right. Um, so I am going to have to swipe to get in here. But typically in a normal day, since we're, we're after hours right now, typically in a normal day, this is going to be green. It's not going to be red. We'll be able to just pull the door. Okay. Yeah, you just um, come in and out as you need. Yeah. And so I'm going to kind of show you guys the, the waiting room mm -hmm. for cups, um, as well as our late Mars relaxation room. So this is the waiting room area. And typically if you're coming in for an initial consult, which is free with CAPS, and that short-term individual therapy is also free with 
with CAPS. And when I say free, I mean it's included in your student health and wellness mm -hmm. fee that's included in those other fees that's with your tuition. Um, that kind of covers this area mm -hmm. and several other programming and services that we do. Um, so for CAPS, short-term individual therapy, groups, workshops, um, using the Lane Mars relaxation room, initial consults, things like that, that's all included um, in that fee. And then for psychiatry services, if that's what's decided that you potentially need, then you could bill with your insurance or you could self pay. Which is new now, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. So previously, psychiatry services, you would just do the self pay, um, but we found that a lot of our students um, and our patients really wanted to be able to bill with their insurance. Mm -hmm. And so we now have that as an option, um, which is really great for, for students that want to be able to do that. Right. Because we have uh, probably 3,000 students who live within, I don't know, five minutes of this place right now. Like, yeah. we have a huge grouping of people who live on the north end of campus, campus, which is where we are now. Yeah, so something specific that I'll tell for housing students that are living in those on-campus um, halls or um, dorms or that off-campus um, housing as well, um, that we have embedded counselors within housing. And so they have offices over in, like, different dorms, mm -hmm. but then they also have offices here. So depending on the day and the time, they may be here or over there. Um, but they work directly with housing students, which is really great for you all. Yeah. If you're, you know, if you're in your first semester, second semester, anytime, and you're starting to feel too much stress, let us know. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. We're always here. We've got resources guys. to help you. Yes. So we're going to go into our Lane Mars relaxation room. Um, and this space is kind of like a meditation, Ooh, relaxation. It's so cool and calm in here. Yes. So this space, it has massage chairs, it has puzzles. You could do coloring sheets in here too if you wanted to. We have some coloring sheets out in our waiting room, bean bags. Um, it's just a space to kind of quiet your mind, relax your thoughts, a good space for some patients that are coming in, clients that are coming in, they'd like to just chill out in here before they go in for their appointment. Mm -hmm. Or if you're not even a client of CAPS and you just want to come in and check out the space and hang out in here, be our guest. You're, nice. you're welcome to come nice. in here anytime the health center is open. And you don't even have to check in at the desk to um, come into this space. The door is left open during hours. Um, now, if you wanted like an iPad for a meditation app or something like that, mm -hmm. then you could go up to the desk and they would help you out with that. How perfect. Even for staff, huh? Like myself. If you wanted to. That's cool. Love that. All right. So we will go out here. And then something that I did want to tell you too is that obviously this is after hours. And so we take our patient and our client confidentiality and privacy very seriously here at the health center. And so um, that's why we decided to do it after hours. Mm -hmm. And um, for this particular space, we don't, we don't walk people back through. We don't do tours um, back through like throughout CAPS unless it's like an after hour time. So if you are a visitor, if you have like an RSO group or um, your sorority group or fraternity or whatever, and you'd like to come and check out our spaces, we'd love to show them to you. Um, just give us a call and then we can help you do that. Um, but yeah, for particularly for in here, we don't usually do like tours yeah. or waiting rooms. Protect people's um, discretion. Yeah, yeah. But then downstairs, people will walk through and all of that. Um, so that's why we, we do say like no photos and videos and no mm -hmm. like tours of like the private spaces. Yeah, and that, even, that, um, even that window is, you can't see through it. Discretion, yes, yeah. discretion. And so we have these little like tree limbs that are kind of um, hiding the, the waiting room area. Sure. So sometimes, yeah, it may feel like you're like, Oh, where am I going? Like, I, I don't know how to get into cats because we have these big letters, but you do have to just go around and mm -hmm. open the door. Mm -hmm. um, so this is one of those study spaces that we had talked about. Yeah, so let me get a good look at it. out here, here um, and study if it's for finals, if it's for just regular uh, class exams or quizzes, or you just want to come and hang out in the space. Um, this is one of those little Seems lounge. comfy. And what a great view. Yeah. Across the hall for... Um, Students of the show, it is uh, uh, Holcomb is Holcomb. right across the hall. Yes, and then Future Hall is actually kind of like catty cornered. So yeah. several dorms are very like walking distance. 
I know we used to call them the quads. They're no longer the quads, right? Morgan and yeah. and Gatewood and Harding. Yes. And I'm forgetting the other one. one, one of It'll them. come to me. So, yeah, you guys will be really near uh, Pat Walker Health Center. I'm sure you've walked right past it for a lot of mm -hmm. your classes if you are in one of those dorms that we had named off. Um, and then we're getting up to our Sear and York Wellness Suite area yeah. that's shared. So what we just walked past is admin areas, and I'm not going to show you that. But okay. That's where my office is, but if you want to <laughs> come and see me. Um, but Sear is our Substance Education Assessment and Recovery Program. And they do things specifically for students for prevention, treatment, and recovery for substance abuse. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also just educating the campus that maybe you know somebody that is um, struggling with substance abuse or um, maybe you're, you want to just like learn more about limiting your alcohol intake, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. things like that. And so they do naloxone trainings. Um, there's one a month happening this fall. What is up. that? So naloxone is um, a recovery like medication so sometimes it comes in injectable form and sometimes it comes in nasal mm -hmm. um, if you had somebody that um, was overdosing okay. from opioids um, then you could administer that naloxone and so that's why the trainings that SEER does is very important they bring in um, somebody called Northwest Arkansas harm reduction mm -hmm. and they are able to give you that training it's a one-hour training and then you can get some naloxone yourself to carry with you yeah. if you'd like. So that's very cool. They also have cool things like cup covers if you're going out drinking with your friends um, and you want to protect your drink mm -hmm. if you were to walk away with, from it or just to have in general. They have something like a little scrunchie. We partnered with ASG, which is our Associated Student Government, mm -hmm. and they did that with us and they made it into a scrunchie and then it comes. So nice, we can nice. Give you those. Um, we also have the Razorback Recovery Community um, with SEER, and that is a community of students that are in recovery or seeking recovery um, from drug or alcohol abuse, and they can um, work with our peer recovery specialist. And we also have assessments that we can do. We have a licensed mental health practitioner, um, she's licensed in the state of Arkansas. And she does assessments uh, for students struggling with alcohol or drug-related issues. So several resources with yeah, this year. Yeah, sounds like a lot of resources for people <laughs> who are, you know, trying to um, be their best, be yeah. their best self. So Yeah, we're supporting you in your healthy behavior choices. Mm -hmm. And so we will, with that, I'll um, let you guys walk into what we refer to as the wellness lounge. And I'll let Alyssa sort of give you a tour of that because... Shall we head in? Yeah. Yeah, okay. so the York Wellness... And meet, and meet, uh, meet you there? Yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. The York Wellness Lounge is um, it's through University Recreation. And then mm -hmm. I'll let Alyssa sort of take it away. Um, yeah. But this is where you would enter. Let me swipe. <laughs> so typically, it would be unlocked, but after hours, we, we lock everything down. Pat um, Walker, after hours, right here. <laughs> okay. So typically, it would be unlocked. Um, but this is a shared suite between Sear and York Wellness, huh? so if you were coming in for either. Nice, nice. Yeah. So well, hello. Just, hi. We just opened the Wellness Lounge this March, mm -hmm. and it's a new place that we've opened so students can come and just have a quiet, relaxing area where they can study or just recharge between their classes. Um, if you come with me back here, we have a ton of free snacks. We even have our refrigerator. A ton of oh, what's in there? Let's see what's in the fridge. Right now, we have some cheese sticks. Cheese and sticks. Some yeah. But okay. a lot of times, we have yogurt. Okay. And we have different, just like nuts and stuff. Nice. It's always nice. getting restocked with different things. And this is just like come in and grab it. Yeah, you can okay. come in anytime the Pat Walker Health Center is open and grab nice. whatever you need. We also have a bunch of stickers and buttons that we've made. Yeah. There's Very some cool. condoms in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. condoms. We have some condoms downstairs too. Don't be afraid <laughs> to grab some. <laughs> Grab whatever you need. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, as well as some hot water if you want to make tea mm -hmm. and things yeah. like that. Very good. Yeah. And this particular organization you're involved with mm -hmm. has been on campus for a long time. And um, how did you get involved with it? Um, I got my job last year. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I just found a job posting for nice. a social media manager position. Uh -huh. And that's something I've been interested in doing for a while because I really like marketing. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a great way to get the community together. And I applied for it, and I got it. <laughs> Fantastic. Wonderful. And it, what is your major? 
Um, I'm actually a theater performance major. <laughs> really? Lots Very of cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, is there programming in this space, or is it really just drop in, drop out? Um, this space is usually just drop in, drop out. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of different programming outside of here. We do a wellness hut that you'll see around campus mm -hmm. during the fall a lot, where our peer educators come out and they talk about different like wellness topics. We talk about the eight dimensions of wellness just like sleep habits, just anything you can think of. We talk about it and try to help out the student body with. Speaking of uh, great outreach that you guys are doing, uh, when it comes to sleep, which is always an issue for particularly a first year student, mm -hmm. uh, do you have any tips or tricks or any practices that you follow? Yeah, I would just say you can't, you have to prioritize your sleep during mm -hmm. finals or just whenever you're studying because your health is just as performant, as important as you're studying or like how dedicated you are to that during your like test time. You, your health has to be good for you to get good grades. Mm -hmm. So what I do is whenever I'm studying, I always just like cut myself off at like six or seven. Wow. And I just take time to myself and I get a good night's sleep because it's really, really important. <laughs> Absolutely, and still, and still making the grades, obviously. Mm -hmm. So that practice is really working. <laughs> See? See, and no all-nighters? Um, no, not that I know of. <laughs> That's almost unheard of, amazing, way to go. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see, we've got uh, a nice little study space here as well with uh, funny, fun pillows, inspirational pillows. <laughs> yes. and uh, it's, it's okay to not know it all. It's okay to not know, know it, it all. all. Make yeah. mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, so this area obviously can be used for uh, seer stuff. Um, if you're coming in and you're having an appointment um, with our seer program coordinator mm -hmm. um or if you're coming in to just check out we do have a razorback recovery lounge i'm not going to show you that today just because it's in the process of getting reorganized for oh, fall okay um but there is a lounge dedicated um just for the Razor razorback recovery um community and then um there's like a conference room area right here um, but if you're coming in for an appointment for that, or if you're coming in for wellness coaching, mm -hmm. um, so York Wellness also does some wellness coaching as well, which is free to students. Um, and they can talk about like other ongoing issues. And then if it is something that they think that needs to be referred to potentially like a CAPS counselor or something like that, then they would do that. So we do a lot of like cross collaboration and referring if that's needed. Yeah. Uh, we can help you get to whatever resource, um, you'd need. Well, um, Please chime in if you have any questions for us. This is the time to ask about health questions. Um, are there any questions you get asked like over and over? Have we covered it already? Um, so sometimes we get asked, well, a lot of times we get asked about insurance mm -hmm. and how that works with like our primary care clinic and so, or our GYN women's clinic. So any of our medical clinics, we bill with insurance. Um, you can self-pay, but there's only a 10% self-pay discount. Okay. Um, so it is beneficial if you do have insurance. Um, we'll see you either way. But we do accept most major insurances, um, and there is a student insurance that students can purchase. Um, mm -hmm. But most students utilize their parents' insurance yeah. um, or their family members' insurance that they've already been on. And so we accept most major insurances. Just double check um, that will be a network. And how you do that is we have a medical provider staff directory on our website. Um, so if you scroll down to the bottom of our website, there's something called Quick Links. And then if you click Medical Providers, you could get to it there, or if you just clicked on medical health, um, it has a link on that page as well for our medical providers staff directory. We also have a full staff directory for all the staff in Pat Walker, so you could check that out as well. Um, but you just use one of those provider's names, and when I say provider, that means a physician or a nurse practitioner. We have a mix in our clinics. Um, majority is physicians, um, licensed board certified physicians, but also licensed board certified nurse practitioners um, that see our our patients that come in. Yeah. So yeah, fill with most insurances. Um, they take your insurance um, when you check in or you can go ahead and you can upload it on that patient portal that I talked mm -hmm. about um, so that it's already there. And then they just verify your emergency contact information. Sounds pretty straightforward. Yeah. How nice. Just like your regular hometown doctor. Um, and you can dedicate one of our providers here at the um, health center as your primary care provider during your time as a student here if you'd like. Okay, very good. Yeah. Well, I think of some uh, other new questions. Yeah. Most asked questions. Do you have any most asked questions for wellness? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess um, our presentations that our peer educators do, um, they go to different clubs and organizations across campus. Mm -hmm. And 
If you're part of them, anyone can request them. So you can learn about basically whatever you want. You can request a topic for us to make to talk about with you guys. What's the most popular topic? Um. Do you think? Probably just like stress during okay. school. Okay. Yeah, dealing with stress, which mm -hmm. is even as a as a as an adult, that's something I struggle with. So yeah. very good. Very and we good. have the link um, in our bio, our Instagram bio, mm -hmm. York Wellness, to find more information about. Um, the peer mentors and the wellness coaching, just everything. Yeah. Oh, excellent, excellent. So that would be, that would be your advice, I guess, for first year students coming in is check out that York Wellness at Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. You can find a ton of different help on our website. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. All and right. we're at U of A Health. If you want to <laughs> learn more about Pat Walker Health Center, so we've talked about medical, mental health, and substance use and support services. Um, upcoming, I will tell you guys, in the second week of classes during what we call welcome weeks here on campus, um, we're going to have our first annual Walker Welcome. It's oh, W-E-L-L. Fun. Because we want to be well, right? Uh, welcome Block Party. It's mm -hmm. going to be Wednesday, August 30th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we'll be on that south end of our building where most of our foot traffic is on the corner of Maple and Garland. Um, we'll have music, we'll have Kona ice, um, while supplies last, we'll mm -hmm. have drinks, um, and just different resources from all these different areas that we kind of walked through and talked about today. Um, so come check us out, get some swag, uh -huh. um, and <laughs> learn more about if you had a question that maybe you didn't get answered on here, um, then we'll help you get the right answer. That sounds like a ton of fun. Yeah. And as you can, you can uh, listen in here, there's so many resources here for you when it comes to staying healthy, having a great educational experience over your years here, and uh, not seeing any more questions. So anything else we need to talk about? We covered it. <laughs> yeah, we, we did covered it. it. Come see us. We're we're here to help you uh, connect and um, stay happy and healthy on the road to graduation. So you wave us out. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>